welcome. You're watching Beyond World is One. My name is Mohammed Saleh, and let's start this broadcast by taking a quick look at what is making headlines at this hour. It's a big heartbreak for India at the Paris Olympics. A wrestler Vinesh Pogat has been disqualified ahead of the finals in the 50 kilogram division for being overweight. So there is no medal for the 29 year old star. The American Secretary of State Anthony Blinken urges Hamas's newly appointed Chief Yahya Sinwar to accept a Gaza ceasefire, says that the alleged mastermind of the 7th of October attack is the crucial decider. The Hezbollah group announces death of six of its fighters in the last 12 hours as a result of the Israeli bombings on southern Lebanon, with at least four of them said to have been killed by a strike on a command building in the town of Maifadun. And over 20 bodies of Awami League leaders, their associates and family members have been recovered in the last 48 hours. The leaders were killed in the violence after Sheikh Hasina was forced to flee from Bangladesh. The American presidential hopeful Kamala Harris and her freshly selected running mate Tim Waltz hit the campaign trail together for the first time. The Democrat duo fired up the supporters at a rally in Key Battleground, Pennsylvania. And Australia is to begin co-manufacturing guarded weapons with the United States to boost supplies for allies in the Indo-Pacific and also to increase military presence in the country. The United States and Australia have cleared the project that is to begin from 2025. The Indian Air Force began its first ever multinational exercise on its own soil, Tarang Shakti 2024 in Tamil Nadu and homegrown LCA Tejas fighter jets intercept German, French and Spanish contingents who took part in the war games. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.